there was a house on top of a hill where a dying scientist bequeathed his life's work to his two assistants, Cats and Uno. The scientist gave instructions on how to create monsters to solve any problem, along with a series of documents on the cure to cancer, AIDS, and world hunger. But, unfortunately, due to an untimely grease fire caused by someone cooking some fries, not naming any names, but the house was burnt down, and the scientist's work was lost with it. Now, with a handful of monsters and a fire insurance check, Katz and Uno have purchased a three-bedroom house in a quiet suburban town. This is their monster land. <laughs> Hello, Helga! Howard! Fine day we're having, isn't it? Ah, beautiful couple, those Schultzes. Relics of a better time. Unlike them. So mysterious. So dark. I can only imagine what kind of evil lurks in that house. Spectacular. He's really going to town on that thing. Oh, yeah, that is that is what the Chinese battle sword is all about. It's designed to rip through the flesh and bone of the 12th century Mongols, so you know it's good. And for a one-time payment of $400, this bad boy can be all yours, Daddy. We gotta have that sword. Udo, check our savings, would you? <laughs> We're broke. Damn! <laughs> You're right. We've been living in poverty ever since the fire. I'm sick of it! I want to live deliciously, Uno. Not like a goddamn street rat. Oh, I'm sorry, Ottoman. I I might have gotten a bit heated. That's all right. I know you get a bit testy sometimes, but I live to serve. Ugh, Stockholm Syndrome. And a great servant you are! Why don't you unwind with a little bath from Eric? Eric? I'm gonna clean you like a cat. <sighs> Let's craft a creature that just wants us to beat the shit out of him. I mean, really just lay into him. Sounds like anger management would be a more obvious choice. But yeah, I guess beating something could be the answer. Y'all need a quick cleanup before you go down. No thank you, Eric. You're very thorough. Damn it, who cleaned down here? I had things in order to my liking. No, you clumsy ape! Look what you've done! Wait, what's this? My god, it's been ages since I've seen this. I didn't even know this survived the fire. Is he implying that he wants to get AIDS, or...? No, he was going to cure it, of course! He was an admirable man. Remember? Hand me the fucking bone saw! No, no, please! No! Ah! 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 He wanted to take care of the elderly? Oh, I'm no servant to those bulldog faced fiends! Wait! I've got an idea! Old people usually have a ton of money, right? Yes. How else would they be able to renovate old cars and acquire so much medicine? What if we did some odd jobs for some old people? Hang some shelves, move some furniture? Easy work for a high price. Not a bad idea, Uno. <laughs> we do have that elderly couple next door. Maybe we pop in and see what they need. If they decide to reward us, we could get that sword to make some monsters to chop up. Now we're on the same page. Let's go see what those skin sacks need help with. Leaving house, 12.30 p.m. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you bother those beautiful old angels! That's it! I'm calling the cops! 911, what's your emergency? This is Officer Henry King! My neighbors are trying to- Save it, Henry. We aren't going to keep coming out there to harass your neighbors. But they're walking to my neighbor's house right now! Hello? Hello? God damn it, no! Now, Uno, if he has any lawn jockeys or other racist paraphernalia, just know he's a product of his time. 
I mean, I don't think that's really an excuse for blatant racist iconography, is it? Oh, you liberal little bitch. <laughs> oh god, Snowflake. Uno! Snowflake much? Hello? Who's there? Mr. Schultz, it's your neighbor, Cat. Now, we know that you're a man of, uh, advanced years and probably have various racist artifacts and other knickknacks from times gone by. Why are you so hung up on this? But you'll see no judgment here. No, you'll definitely be judged. Nah, well, we'll see what happens. Sir, we've come to see if there's anything you may need help with. I'm sorry, boys. I don't have any money for chocolate bars or whatever that child pedophile cult you call the Boy Scouts has to offer. No, sir. I feel you may misunderstand what we mean. We can help you with any problem in the whole world. You boys can... Can help me with any problem? Well, to a moral extent, yes. My morals are very loose, so you can ask me for pretty much anything, big guy. <laughs> oh, come on in, boys. Let me on you a tail. No. You may not believe this, but when I was younger, I stumbled upon the Fountain of Youth, and in my ignorance, drank deep from its water. And now, I can't die from old age. But you look so fucking old. The Fountain of Youth is much the same as in the hit film, The Green Mile. I remember when I saw the film, I thought, wow! This is literally the exact situation I find myself in. Uh, except for the colored fellow, of course. Hello, gentlemen. May I offer you some pumpkin cookies? Damn it, Helga! Leave us men to talk, you vile old goat! Okay, then, dear. Love you. I want you boys to make me young again. Immortality is a curse when your dick doesn't work and all you can do is keep getting older. I can't get plastic surgery because my doctors say I'm too old. I just want to swim again. I want to scale a mountain. I want to bury my face into a teenage girl's bosom again. Prowl the town for some young strange. Your excessive use of young made that all very creepy for me. Well also, don't you love your beloved Helga and her cookies? She's just a revolving door. She will die soon enough, and I'll get some money and repeat the process over and over again. Hopefully in the future I can purchase some futuristic robot body to implant my brain, but if you all help me now, I'll give you $400. Do we have a deal? I've plugged in the info for our monster cats. While I do want this money, I, I feel bad for Helga. Me too. She seems so nice, to be treated so poorly by that immortal asshole. Aye, and she offered us pumpkin cookies. I say we make the dick skeleton for the old man, but add in a little extra charm. <laughs> this monster will give him the posture of a 25-year-old, a dick as hard as a diamond, but also an undying love for Helga. Cats, you hopeless romantic. We get the money and save the girl! No time for your over-examination, Uno! Let us bring this beast to life! Hey. I shall call you... Rodney. Okay. You shall host this old man's body next door, stretching his old skin and giving him the posture of a Greek god. Okay, sounds good. Let us collect our money! Here we come, sword! <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Fuck this! Time for Henry King to become the hero he once was. I'm coming, Mr. Schultz! <laughs> What you doing, Henry? Damn it, Todd! We need to help Mr. Schultz! You made us all look pretty stupid down at the force with your little, uh, hate crime. We all do hate crimes! Yeah, well, some of us are professional and don't get caught beating and blinding Vietnamese men. 
Look behind you! That monstrosity is gonna kill that innocent man! If it were any other person, King, I'd turn right around and look. But out of pure merit, I refuse to look! Stop calling us, King! Well, is this thing my miracle? It, it sure, sure is. is. <laughs> Go on, help him out, Rodney. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? <laughs> 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 That, uh, that did not go as expected. Anyone want a cookie? Oh my word, Harold, you look fantastic. Did you boys help my Harold? We sure did. Well, here's your money. I saw Harold had left it on the counter next to different kinds of lubricants and penis pills and flavored condoms, but I, I, I'm, that doesn't concern you boys. My dearest Helga, you have never looked so beautiful. Harold, stop. Come, let us make love until the new day sun illuminates the sky. Well, we finally have enough money to get our sword. You know, Uno, just by helping someone, I felt happier than I have in a long time. I said we use this $400 to clean up this house and start helping more people. Is that right? I gotta chase that high, you know. We can save the world, and I can give myself a pat on the back for every step of the way. Oh, how can a man be blocked from calling the police? I gotta get back to being a hero. I'll reveal what's going on in that goddamn house, and I will redeem myself. I can promise you that. I will be victorious! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>